Simon Clark. He joins me now live from Reading in the United Kingdom. Uh, Simon, great to see you. Thanks for your time. Tell us, how excited should the medical world be about this? Well, this is something we've been thinking about for quite a while. Uh, we, say, we have lots of drugs, lots of molecules that we already know about, that we already know how to synthesize and make in a laboratory, and therefore, by extension, could be made in a factory. Uh, and of course, that's too many to test. So what computing power and artificial intelligence is now allowing us to do is uh, uh, get a better idea of which ones are likely to be useful so they can be tested they can be we can we can miss out the quite lengthy time consuming process of uh, of screening all of them to see if they work because of course the vast majority of them won't so it gives us an opportunity to leap uh, a step forward in the development of new antibiotics and Simon, just talk us through the possibilities for medicine with regard to AI. What are your thoughts on how far this can go? Uh, well, there are um, so many uh, untreated diseases that require drugs, and we don't really have any idea how to do that. Um, I think there is enormous power for computers to be able to design potential new drugs. And it really is important to stress to people that the computers, the, the, the software only comes up with ideas for what might work. Um, because, of course, that takes human beings an inordinate amount of time to do a relatively small amount of work. Computers can do vast amounts of work much more quickly and design potential molecules to target aspects of all manner of diseases, not just infections. This seems to be racing ahead really, really fast. That's the impression I get. Do you, do you think there are any drawbacks? Uh, no, there aren't any, except perhaps um, people's assumption that, that new cures are going to be along tomorrow. Uh, they're not. This is a really important uh, uh, aspect of developing new drugs, but there's still an awful lot of work that needs to be done on them. And Simon, you know, we're used to seeing governments investing heavily in their health services, in staff, in equipment, in buildings, in hospitals. Do you think in years to come they will be putting money into AI as part of their health services? Uh, I expect so, yes, because I think AI will have uh, uh, a lot more power in terms of uh, diagnostics and deciding on, on treatment pathways for, for people, particularly with uh, more complex diseases. So, yes, I think AI is, is going to be important right across the board in, in terms of healthcare, not just in developing new drugs and not just in developing new antibiotics. Simon Clark, live in Berkshire in the United Kingdom for us. Thanks for your insight. Welcome.